from Jazz Truck Driving School. Today we're going to do the uncoupling and coupling according to the melt program that was introduced uh, by MTO last year. Uh, so the very first thing we got to do is before we even start our uncoupling and coupling, we have to go inside the truck to make sure our, our uh, parking brakes are on, make sure our transmission is neutral and your uh, truck is switched off, right? So, yep, so our brakes are pulled out, so both of them are out. Make sure the transmission is on neutral. If you got the manual, then make sure your uh, uh, transmission on manual uh, in the neutral and your uh, truck is switched off and you come outside you go at the back and you're gonna chalk your wheel and then you check to make sure your tractor pillar is on the last or on the right? You chalk our wheel there, one in the front and what this one at the back. Okay? There it is. So we chalk the wheels we made sure our tractor turner is on the level ground surface. Okay, this is what exactly you have to tell the examiner when you're going for the class A road test and when you're doing your uncoupling and coupling. Okay, so once this is done, right, so the total five things we have done. Uh, we made sure our uh, parking brakes are on, uh, the transmission is on neutral, your truck is off, you come outside, you chalk your wheels and you tell him that my uh, tractor turner is on the level ground surface. Now, once that's done, then you're gonna go on the other side and lower the landing gear. Now, some trailers are equipped with the landing gear on the left side, but we have one on the right side. So it depends on the trailer to trailer which one you're dealing with, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step on the other side. Right. So here is our landing gear. What we need to do is, uh, we're gonna pull it out, put on the high gear, Try to lower it until both of these landing gear front touch the ground on the both sides. Gonna release the fifth wheel handle from here. Okay. Chances are sometimes when it doesn't come out, either it's uh, locked in tight or you lower the landing gear too too tight, and there's a lot of uh, what do you call that friction between the fifth wheel and the trailer. So in that case, you might have to go inside the truck and reverse the truck just to uh, balance it out, and then try to uh, unhook the fifth wheel pin again, right, or handle again. And we step underneath the trailer to check to make sure that uh, our jaws are open. Yes, they are open. All right, so we step outside. And then we tell the examiner, so our landing gear is secure. It's stable on the, uh, the trailer is stable on the landing gear. The wheels are still chalked. The uh, fifth wheel handle is in uh, unlocked position and we already opened the jaws. And now we're gonna unhook the airline. Now what we have to do is we're going to step inside the truck and then we're going to take the truck out by only releasing the tractor brakes because we don't want to release the trailer. If I release the trailer, I'm going to open the DPV valve, which is your tractor protection valve, which is going to release the air out of the supply line and we don't want to leak the air when we go out just with the bobtail only, right? So we go inside and just release the tractor brakes and try to take the truck out. In the same time, you got to make sure that the truck comes out fully until the fifth wheel assembly is outside of the trailer, okay? If for whatever reason, if the truck, uh, your uh, fifth wheel handle gets locked on the way out, you gotta make sure you stop the truck, come outside and unlock it again, and then recheck it again, okay? So we're gonna try to do it. So we start the engine. All right, so we're gonna only release the tractor brakes. I'm gonna only push the yellow one in. And we'll put it on drive. Once again. 
make sure it's To this level where our uh, fifth wheel foundation is fully out, the assembly is fully out, and then we go under the trailer, check to make sure our kingpin and our fifth wheel are fully separated, and we'll check the main thing is our landing gear. Make sure your trailer is stable on the landing gear, okay, and your wheels are still shot. frame of the truck and the trailer okay so you don't want the trailer to be actually sitting on the actual uh, truck frame you want to make sure the trailer is sitting on the landing gear itself okay so what I'm going to start, I'm going to take a 90 degree angle and I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to stop over there okay are on, the four wheels are on, okay? The very first thing we gotta check is our airlines, your supply line, your service line, your electric line, make sure the rubber seals are intact, no cuts, no damages. So your electric line is, looks, seems good, everything looks good. You come on this side, you check Make sure your fifth wheel handle is in unlocked position because sometimes it gets locked again while you're driving. It's just a bobtail only, so you gotta make sure that it's unlocked. Make sure the crack, no damages on the uh, frame of the fifth wheel itself. All the fasteners are tight and secure, right? Just to make sure they're not missing. Make sure there's enough grease on the fifth wheel itself. And then make sure also that it tilts both ways, okay? We come at the back here. We check out the four ways to make sure the four ways are working. And over here, there are a few components that you need to remember the names of, like for example, your tie rod, your differential, your brake chamber, your airlines, drive shaft, your airbags, all these things. You just make sure you check to, check to make sure that they are working, they're not cracked, not damaged, no leaks whatsoever, right? Everything looks good here. You do the same thing on this side, no crack, no damage on the fifth wheel frame. All the bolts are tight and secure, all right? Enough grease on the fifth wheel itself, no missing bolts, everything looks good, airbag looks good. All the components look good. And then we go to the trailer. So on the trailer, we need to inspect the, uh, the kingpin and the upper plate and the coupler itself, landing gear and all that kind of stuff, right? So first, we gotta make sure the kingpin is in good shape, no crack, no damages. There is enough grease on the upper plate itself. Now we check to make sure the glad hands or the trailer couplers on this side, the rubber seals are intact, no missing pins on the electric panel here. Okay, everything looks good and make sure your uh, trailer is stable on the landing gear, okay? And your wheels are still chalked, okay? And also make sure the way is clear. There's no interruption, nobody's bothering you here. There's no construction, no hanging wires, okay? So you gotta make sure you do this in a proper place where it's safe, right? Okay, now what's next step is you gotta make sure the way is clear and you go inside the truck, you pull the highway horn. If your uh, backup horn is not working, you don't have to, okay? Then you're gonna start backing up until the fifth wheel reaches the trailer plate.
Rio. The trailer touches your fifth wheel, you should stop, okay? Or you can go a little bit underneath, just make sure it doesn't go fully against the kingpin. Okay. You put the brakes on. Now you're gonna tell the examiner that my trailer height is good, okay? So make sure there's no gap here. And then you gotta go under the trailer to make sure the kingpin and the fifth wheel are lined up. So if you look at the kingpin right here in the center, it's lined up to that fifth wheel, straight, okay? As we already said that our landing gear is secured, wheels are still chopped. Now I'm gonna back it up until the fifth wheel connects with the kingpin, okay? And that your uh, fifth wheel handle, which is an unlocked position right now, will lock itself, okay? is in locked position I don't know yet I can just hear that sound and I know that it's locked but just to reconfirm it I need to do the tuck test okay to the way to do the tuck test is by putting on drive and pull out the truck two times okay so what I'm doing is I'm gonna pull out the truck two times right now I try to uh, do the tuck test two times which was successful because the truck is locked right with the fifth wheel to the kingpin and if it didn't lock then it would come out right so then I would have to uh, reach up under the gate now what I need to do is I come outside here and I check to make sure my fifth wheel handle is in locked position which it is right there is no gap between the fifth wheel and the trailer which there is no gap here and then we go underneath the trailer and check to make sure the jaws are locked. So the jaws are locked, okay? All right. Now we're gonna have to uncouple these uh, airlines. So electricals, so the red to red, make sure the supply goes to supply line. Service to service, make sure the blue to blue, right? And make sure don't see any rubber seals sticking out okay so that's done okay and then you go to the other side and raise the landing gear up Now you have to do two more tests, which is your uh, your airlines for the trailer. You have to check your trailer airlines to make sure there's no leaks, and then you have to check your brakes at the end. So we need to check these two airlines right here, the supply line and the service line. Now to check this one, we need to go inside the truck. We need to make sure our pressure is above 100. So make sure you do tell the examiner that the pressure is above 100. All right. And uh, you release the trailer brakes, the red one, because you're checking the trailer lines. Okay, so you push it in. Make sure trailer, uh, your uh, pressure is still uh, above 100, which it is. All right. So I'm going to turn off the 
engine. All right, so I'm gonna step outside halfway to listen for any leaks coming out of the supply line. I don't hear any leaks. So that means my air supply line is working fine. So there is no leak on it. Now I need to check the service line. So how do I check the service line? By pressing the service brake over here. So I'm gonna hold the brake pedal and listen for any leak from the service line, the blue one. I don't hear any leak on the service line as well. So that means it's good. All right, and once I'm done with this test, make sure I pull the trailer supply valve out because I pushed it in to check it. Now, once I'm done with this test, don't forget to pull it out. So that completes my airline test, right? Now, the second test after this is your brake checks. So you go at the back and you tell the examiner, so I need to uh, go at the back and remove my wheel chocks. Once the wheel chocks are removed, you go inside the truck and test your two brake, which is your uh, service brake and your trailer hand valve. So put it on the side. Okay. So you step inside the truck again, you're gonna start the engine. All right, so we're gonna start it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, release the tractor and trailer brakes both. So you push your yellow and your red in. So we release both the brakes. So that means your tractor and trailer can move both together now. So I'll put it on drive. Now I'll try to test the first brake, which is my service brake, which is my brake pedal here. And my second brake would be my trailer hand valve here, okay? Which I'm gonna pull it down to check it, okay? So, I'm gonna go out up a little, and I'm gonna use my brake pedal. There you go, I stopped. So that means my service brake on the tractor trailer is working. Now I need to check my trailer hand valve, which is the independent use of the trailer service brakes only. So what I need to do is I need to pull forward the gate and pull this one down as I go up. There we go. So my trailer and tractor stop together. So that means my trailer hand valve is working as well. And after this, you gotta make sure your pressure stays above 100. If it's not, then you gotta make sure you build the pressure above 100 and then you're good to go for your road test. So that completes your uncoupling and coupling.